Welcome back to Dialed In DIY. Ever wonder how one of these instant cold packs work? Well, I did, and I decided I'd figure it out by taking one apart and doing a little research. There actually happens to be several questions I'm shooting to answer today. One is, what is inside of one of these packs? Second is, how do they work? Third, could you make your own if you really wanted to? And finally, are there different contents that can be used for making them? And I'm going to answer all of those, plus any extra important safety information that you probably should know if you're going to try to undertake this yourself. You'll notice on the inside of most instant cold packs, there's only two things you're going to find. In this one, there's a chemical that is ammonium nitrate, and you need to be very careful when handling that. I'll explain more at the end of the video. But the other thing you'll find is this little bag of water. These packs work through a simple chemical reaction that is started the minute you squeeze it hard enough to break that bag of water. The chemical mixed together with the water starts to dissolve and you get instant cold. Okay, that was an extremely basic way to answer this. The true more detailed part is that as soon as the chemical starts to dissolve, you get a separation of ions into positive and negative. The reaction actually starts to absorb the surrounding heat energy, which causes the water to become ice cold. That process actually stops the chemical from dissolving until the water heats back up and allows more chemical to be dissolved, thereby starting the process over again. That's actually quite a clever way to allow the ice pack to last long enough to be useful. Most of the cold packs that you can buy on the market work pretty much the same way. But in order to really understand the difference, you gotta back up a step and see what's different on the inside. Since most of these have two bags, one of those bags containing water, it means the really only difference between most of the other ones out there on the market is the chemical that you might find on the inside. The really cool thing is, all three of the chemicals will result in an endothermic reaction when mixed with water. So now to answer the question, could you make your own cold pack? Yeah, you really could. But do you want to? First of all, there are definitely some important safety considerations to keep in mind. And doing a little research, you can find out all that you need to know. The other question that you often might think about is, is it cost effective to make your own? And you actually could make one for less than the cost of buying one off the shelf. But is the savings enough to make it worth it? Well, I think for just the mere fun of doing it, yeah, it is for a time or two, but I'd still buy the ones off the shelf most likely if I needed it for regular use. Hey, thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to chill with Dialed In DIY. I appreciate you watching my video, and if you enjoyed it, I'd love it if you'd let me know by clicking that thumbs up below. Also, would love it if you'd subscribe while you're here and possibly share any comments you might have below. Please feel free to check out playlists and always come on back in the future because there will be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.